Hello guys, welcome to another section of the A2 Library tutorial series. Um, this is going to be a short tutorial. Actually, it's um the ATU space or the ATU institutional repository. We have some update over here. Yeah. Um everything has been changed. That is the interface of the institutional repository. So we're gonna take you through how you can do your submission. Okay, all right. A short one. So you already know that you are supposed to log in using your student um, institutional email address and that of your password that you created. Um, the one that you were using for the previous version is the same thing that you can use for this new system. Yeah, that is the updated one or the upgraded one. So um, if you forgotten your password, you can do forgot password, you receive an email address, you, you click on the link, then you create your password. Okay, so just this side, I'm already logged in. So when you log out, you see the login option over there, then you click on that, then you proceed. Okay, all right. Now, once you are logged in as student, um, you check this side, there's a plus sign over there. All right, so you go by your mouse on that particular section. Um, then you click on item, item. Once you log in, let me show you. Let's go back. So we click on this side. We don't need to even click, just move your case to that side. All right, then you see an item, the drop down item. Now click on the item. The moment you click on the item, you're going to see your supervisor's name over here. <clears throat> Sorry. So you're going to see your supervisor's name over here. So this is the supervisor of this particular student. Then you click on that. So click on this name. That is the supervisor. So you have this interface. Now you go ahead and drop the file. Unlike the older version that um, you move to the test step or the last but one step before you upload a file, this one, everything is just one point. Yes, you don't move from one section to another section. You have everything just at a particular side. And this is just a side. All your details, everything must be entered here. You don't need to be clicking to move to a different section to do that. So you see drop files to attach them to the item. So you click on browse, the browse will allow you to select the file that is your Microsoft Word file for your thesis or project work. You drop it here. Now, once you pick the file, immediately it shows over here, this section. So you realize that we don't have any files uploaded. So once we do that, we will see it over here. So no file uploaded yet. So that is the first thing that we are supposed to do. Go ahead, click on browse, select the file and drop it in there. Now we have the author. If you are more than, let's say two or three people doing the project work, you know what you are supposed to do. The same thing like that of the older version. Um, If you are more than one, meaning two or more, you enter the first name over here. You enter your full name. So yes, everything over here. Then the other, um, your colleagues. Yes. So those that you did a project work with, you click on add more. So you see that we have this option over here. So if you are four, you click on add more and add more so that you get the text fields to reward four. You put in your names over here. Now you move to title. So you enter your the title of your project work or thesis over here. This side, you don't put anything over there. Okay. Now the year, you select the year that you are pushing the work. So actually we are in 2025. So you put it over there, right? So yes, that is when exactly the period that you submitted your work. So we have the month, the moment you select 2025. 25. Uh oh. So what do I have here? So 
the 2025. So you see, so you use the drop down, right? So 2025. Once you select the 2025, then you have a man to select from. Okay, so that is February. Let's say two. Then you have your days. You just use the drop down to select it. You don't type anything about here. That is citation. You don't have any information to be typed here. Report number no. Identifiers I S S N. Not it. Type not it. Okay, so the the type. Just go ahead and scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Select thesis. Yeah, the language, you also scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You are just only to select what? English. So type is thesis, language is English. All right, now let's move on. You realize that everything is just exactly like a page. You don't need to be clicking any um link to move to a different page. You have everything over here. Just can decide. You are not supposed to enter anything like abstract you don't have anything like sponsors you don't have anything like description then at this side you are going to see the file that you uploaded okay that is right here so once you have an upload mm, it comes over here okay the final thing for you to do is to click on this side i confirm the license above then you go ahead and click on dev6 Okay, now that's all. Once you click on them, see your work goes actually to your um supervisor and your supervisor will also work on it and push it to what drift for the final check. All right, that is it. So follow this simple, <clears throat> sorry, approach or steps to deposit your work or submit your work to your supervisor and if your work is really approved, you receive a mail, you need a student mail. If your work is also rejected, just go ahead, work on it, and do a resubmission. All right, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section and you get a solution or answers to all your questions. Thank you. And just subscribe to the channel, ATU Library. Love you guys.